merchandise. I see some you know, generic t-shirts, they're boring, and your merch booth or display is buried in a dark corner somewhere. Who the hell knows it's there? Yeah. You know, invest in yourself, invest in, a, in something that's creative. Again, something that people are gonna notice. So get a little creative with your merch, your, your display case. Again, think of what motivates you when you go out to buy something. There's a very, there's, you know, it's price and positioning. It's the way that something is displayed on the shelf. That's what gets you to buy it. It's and also simple. it won't sell itself. Yeah. So you need sell to find stage. a merch person yeah. or persons. And if they're good looking of either gender, that's not a bad thing either. And if they have the gift of gab, yeah. that's even it's better. Close. Then you know what, you gotta figure out how to compensate those people because they won't do it, you know, otherwise. Yeah. But if it's in beer or sex or you know, whatever, it doesn't matter to be creative. <laughs> <laughs> right. so, yeah. No, 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 no. You want to compensate them in something, sweat, sweat, sweat equity is what I'm trying to get at. But in any case, the you know, point is you need people out there. And then the other thing is that they want, you want to sell the t-shirt, you want to get their, get your um, patrons information, right? Preferably with a credit card, which you can do now at a show. Um, but even, right, you know, Square or whatever, there are a whole bunches of them. But, um, uh, yeah, you need to get their information because just because they bought a t-shirt is good evidence that they might want to see you again. I'm going to get away. All right, question. That's, that's all of this, question. all of this, though, goes to the point of not thinking like a musician. Yeah, well. Yeah. Thinking like a business person. It's true. I mean, it's, it, and, and if you can't think like a business person, hire then you've got to hire someone who can think like a business person. It's hard for a lot of businesses to separate that. Oh, he's, The he's, artsy thing is just not... It's, it's to think you're going to come up with a genius thing that people are going to want and come clamoring for is wonderful, and maybe you will. It could happen, but it's not likely. Most of you look young enough to go to, if there's a, a college nearby that has a music business course, mm -hmm. uh, you can tap into that resource. There's a lot of people who want to be in your business. They want to be associated with a band, and uh, you can get interns. Uh, I, I've met some interns who are so much smarter than me. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I can't wait to engage their services in exchange for they, they get credit. Back in the 80s, yeah. one of the best things you could do is to have a hairdresser in your band, bass player, whatever, keyboard player, you know, <laughs> excellent choice. Yeah. Now, if you could possibly have a business business in your band, yeah. uh, you know, again, bass, maybe not, piano, maybe, yeah, business, yeah, piano, okay. You know, someone can handle that side of things and let you come up with your genius shit. But but also take care of the business. It's so good, but all right. Hey guys.